Hi, my name is Dr. Richard Heckert. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist with the Green Bay Eye Clinic. I've been practicing with the Green Bay Eye Clinic for 22 years. In addition to taking care of children, I also take care of adults who have double vision or eye misalignment. Today I'd like to actually talk about um, amblyopia, which is the medical word for lazy eye, which is a condition that I deal with all day long, every day. Um, and there's a fair bit of confusion about the term lazy eye. Most people come in and think that means that the eyes are not in proper alignment. And that's actually something the medical profession calls strabismus. Lazy eye or amblyopia actually means that an eye does not see to its fullest potential. And it doesn't see to its fullest potential because of early childhood experiences. Uh, when a baby's born, uh, their brain is not yet fully developed. Um, during early development, they grow new nerve cells, and those new nerve cells create new connections and also migrate through the brain to create what is known as the visual pathways. And um, that is determined both by genetics as well as early visual experience. So if a child does not receive clear input from each eye to the brain, the brain will not develop its ability to use that eye to its fullest potential and the vision will be less than normal and we call that lazy eye or amblyopia. Probably the most common reason that we see for amblyopia is a child whose eyes are crossed. In that situation, if the brain was paying attention to both eyes at the same time, the child would see double. And our brains really find that difficult to interpret our world when you see double. So what a child's brain can do that an adult's brain can't do is can actively suppress the information coming from one eye, basically shut off the information so as to not see double. If they consistently suppress the information from the same eye uh, for a long enough period of time, the number of nerve connections in the brain dedicated to that eye decreases and the vision it, as measured in that eye it will not be as good as the other eye, even though the eye physically has not changed, only the brain has changed. If this is detected early enough in life, that process can be reversed um, by uh, patching. And, um, it's a fairly simple, low-tech intervention, uh, but it does take quite a bit of dedication on the part of the parent. Um, and in some children, if we have a great deal of difficulty keeping them patched, we'll use a type of eye drop to blur the vision in the preferred eye to force them to use it. Uh, amblyopia can develop in a similar fashion in a child who has straight eyes, but who has an unequal need for glasses. And, and it's a similar situation the eye, is, the brain, excuse me, is trying to resolve the image into a single clear image. But one eye is constantly presenting it with a clear image, and the other eye with a blurry image. And since it can't make that into a single clear image, it suppresses the information from one side. And again, with prolonged suppression, the number of nerve connections decrease, and uh, that eye just can't see as well. Uh, the third most common reason, and this is common, may not be the right word. Uh, would be if a child has some sort of uh, opacity in the eye that makes it so that they can't see as clearly, such as some abnormality of the cornea or a cataract, or else uh, even a, a droopy lid, which might uh, either block the pupil, in which case that's almost an emergency to raise it, or it can induce a kind of need for glasses that can cause a lazy eye. But I would think the things that parents should understand is that our visual system is not fully developed when somebody's born that abnormal visual experiences can lead to a loss of vision that if caught at an early age can be reversed, but caught at a later age may last a lifetime. Um, most of these conditions can be detected uh, with a screening exam in their pediatrician's office. Additionally, the schools do screenings and any child who fails a screening should be referred for a complete exam 